Today, we are going to be taking a look at what Jim Rohn called the keys to successful living. These are the keys which Jim Rohn felt, if executed properly, would guide you straight to your desired outcome in life. It all starts with the first key, philosophy. This comes from using your mind to think to process ideas and other information. This process establishes a guidance system or a philosophy which will be a guidance system to get us through life emotionally, economically, spiritually, and every other way. This system needs to be constantly refined. Philosophy is the major factor in how your life works out, what car you drive, where you live, what you wear, what you earn. We all need a wind to blow us to our dreams, but there is not much you can do about the wind. We can't change it, but we can catch it. If you're waiting for a good wind to blow, you need to set your sails to make the most of it. That is what philosophy is all about, using your mind to think so that you can refine the set of your sails. Set your sails to make the most of whatever wind may blow. We don't know which way the wind will blow, but you can set a sail, which will help you avoid the rocks where others will end up. The next key is attitude. Have a good attitude about the past. Treat it as a school or a teacher from whom you can learn. Don't let the past beat you or teach you. Mistakes are the experience from which we can learn. How you feel about the future is just as important. Have a good attitude looking to tomorrow. You need to have a destination in mind because if you don't know where you are going, how will you know when you get there? The future is a promise. This promise is an awesome force, but you must be prepared to pay for the future of the present. Nothing is free. Everything has to be paid for. But remember, if the promise is clear, the price is easy. If you can see the promise of the future, the price is easy and you will be prepared to pay. Each of us needs all of us. How do you feel about yourself is important too. Self-esteem is the greatest step of progress towards success. You must develop self-worth, self-value. I believe that the greatest deterioration of self-esteem comes through lack of simple disciplines. Society will not chastise you if you go soft on yourself, but neglect will destroy us all. Neglect will ace everyone and prevent us all from cashing in on opportunity. Neglect is like an infection that if not attended to will become a disease. One neglect leads to another like a domino effect. Neglect your economic situation and you'll probably neglect your health. Neglect your health and you'll probably neglect your friendships. Neglect your friendships and you'll probably find that soon you'll be neglecting your family. Self-esteem is the greatest building block of success. All disciplines affect each other. Nothing stands alone. Everything matters. Some things matter more than others, but there is nothing which doesn't matter. The next key to successful living is activity. A great artist or architect may have ideas which are inspiring and show genius, but unless they pick up a paintbrush or pencil, there will be no painting or building. There is no business without activity. Making phone calls, making sales, knocking on doors, no matter how wonderful the business plan. Without the labor, there is no reality. Affirmation alone will not do it. Affirmation without discipline is the beginning of delusion, but commitment to labor leads to the miracle of new life. First, do what you can. An ancient prophet said, whenever your hands find a do, do it, don't neglect. If there's a call you must make, make it. If there's a conversation you must have, have it. Clean up all your neglect. What is easy to do is always easy not to do. Second, do the best you can. Always do more than you get paid for to make an investment in your future. Work on the principle, I should, I could and I will. The next key to successful living is results. Philosophy plus attitude plus activity equals results. Results is the name of the game. In life we are presented with the seed and the soil and the seasons, and the miracle of life and life asked of us that we produce results. We have the opportunity, what can we do with it? Learn from a successful person's experience to change your own results. Life asks us to make measurable progress in reasonable time. Ask more of yourself. This will aid you on your path to success. The final key to successful living is lifestyle. For all of us, our philosophy, attitudes, and activity lead to results which in turn makes for lifestyle. Lifestyle is the way in which we choose to live our life and bring our dreams to reality. This concludes Jim Run's 5 Keys to Successful Living and I hope to see you guys in our next video.